I blog recipes not because I'm a Martha Stewart or because I'm a gourmet uh, by any means. I like to eat. Hi, I'm Sue Donaldson. I've been speaking and writing about God and His welcoming heart for the last 20, 25 years. I was first asked to give a hospitality workshop and I thought, well, that's just so easy. I mean, doesn't people don't really need help. And, and so then I did my first one and I realized that people are desperate for help. They want, they want one of those black and yellow uh, hospitality for dummies books. And I'm kind of that way because I'm kind of a dummy and I can tell how to do things simply. I'm not, um, it's, it's, it doesn't have to be elaborate. It could just be simple, inviting someone over and even buying muffins at Trader Joe's. Particularly love speaking to women's groups. They're so much fun and they're so ready to learn. And of course, anything I teach, God is still teaching me, so it kind of has to go through me and out uh, by His grace. And it's just great. What I hope to accomplish when I speak is, number one, that women would know God better. And part of knowing God deeper and well is knowing how much He has welcomed them to His table. And that we, once we've received God's welcome, we are honored, blessed, privileged, and also exhorted to invite another person to His table. And what a better way than at our own table. I mean, not everybody gets to go to seminary or wants to or go to a foreign mission field or get a degree in it. But everybody, most everybody has a home, and most everybody has a table, and most everybody has a cup of water, and so that's why we can do it. They really appreciate the fact that I'm honest with my own struggles with my kids and husband, and that no one's perfect, only God is, and that um, it's kind of like hospitality. You don't, you don't really save people, but you introduce them to the Savior. And when I speak, I do that in a way that He's been introduced to me. So people like my speaking because it's real, I tell stories, lots of stories, and uh, lots of humor because you gotta keep laughing. It's what God's asked us to do and in Titus. We just pass it on. And uh, we pass it on with joy and, and confidence, not in ourselves, but in life experience and how God has met us every step of the way. It doesn't mean that our future is intact, meaning no problems, but our future is intact with God. You can host with your personality. You host with your heart. You can speak from it when you're doing it in spite of things. And I think that's a, a message I want women to hear, that you don't have wait until hospitality. When this happens, hospitality when I get a bigger home, when my couch gets recovered, when I can afford a housekeeper, when my kids leave for college, when my husband gets saved. All these when, then I will be hospitable. That's what I want to teach. Stop that right now. You do it now because God has called us to. You really want to come because I'm funny and I'm talking about how God has helped me through my life and that it's going to hopefully you open up areas in your life where you're going to see him in a new way. If you're interested in having me speak, I would love to come. Uh, I will tailor my talks to your needs. Let me know what the needs are. Um, often a church will say, hey, we want to call it Recipes for Life. You speak on anything you want. And then I did. And uh, I do have seven retreat series that you can look at online and about 12 topics. And I'm happy to talk to you about uh, what you would like me to do for you and it would be great to meet you.